What's up guys? Back with another video. So guys, today we are going to be taking a different dive into Arterius gear with the Kilo Extension System 1 with the um brand new and updated Amazon Lab Pro now. And I'll take you out to some new things and talk to you about some things uh, Arterius got going on. So yeah. So after this video, we're going to be talking about is the Kia Essential 61 is the best mini controller of all time. And is the mini controller is the best synthesizer under $500. And is the analog lab the best plugin of all time. So guys, let's get on to the video. Alright guys, so as y'all can see, I was demonstrating some sounds for y'all and a couple of them was new, like brand new sounds. So like, yeah, so as y'all already can see, um, we got a new screen, you know. We had this great background with, um, with sounds, you know. And then like, this is some new that they just brought up with the new, um, with the new update, you know, and it should be fun and stuff like that. So yeah, and plus, like, if you're here, like, you can use these buttons to go back or forward, forward to like another sound, and you can also go like down here to the corner here to see what was your last history, you know, against like changing like a certain thing from like the faders and knobs. Or if you're changing the sound and if you want to go back to it, the certain sound, you can go down here or use one of these arrows. So, yeah. And it's really fun, you know. And this is something great that Oteri did and that's something that we needed. And I really like it. So, yeah. So, now we also get, like, this menu bar right here with 
all of these sounds. I'm talking about all of these sounds you get from here. And we also get it in sections too. So it goes in number order. It goes to on um, by letter order. But like first it starts with all and you get all these sounds that's in here. And then it goes through like letter order. You get bass, you get brass and winds, you get drums, EPN and keys, all the way down to vocals. And that's like that's phenomenal. That's some that's something that you needed. And we can also find everything like here. So yeah. And if you were if you wanna ask like where can I find this certain type of instrument or where can I find my liked or favorite preset or where can I find like this certain other thing? So you're gonna press this button right here that's right next to the heart button. And they're gonna take you to here, essentially to the home page through here. And they can find everything here. You can find your instruments, sound bank, and stuff like that. And I know last video I didn't do all of this, but yeah. And uh, right now y'all can also see my piano. And y'all can also like use like category chart to go through instruments and then um and stuff like that. And then once you find an instrument, you can just press preset and stuff like that. And then you also use presets to find like other things too. And I know the Mark Three just came out, and there's some different like this, like the Mark One and Mark Three is like really similar. And then like they added new things to the Mark Three too. I do recommend getting the Mark Three, and I put it and I will put it in the link below. So yeah, and then we had our ch uh, category chart preset you know you use these arrows to go through different stuff too and use the big knob to press on this certain sound or instrument or something like that so yeah and of course we have the faders and knobs we can control it to like edit sounds inside that as like you want and of course y'all did see me use the faders and knobs a little bit so yeah you can also use these faders and knobs for your DAW too it really depends on which DAW you're using Ableton whatever so yeah and then of course we have our picture mod I was using it too um we had the transpose button we had the octave goes like three up and three down and you can press these two at the same time so it can like make it even again or just go back up or down. And of course, you can also press these two buttons when you plug it in, plug your piano in so you can reset or something like that. So yeah. And if you have our dark command center, I know Mark Three and Mark Two has more stuff, but yeah. And then our pads. So yeah. Y'all really need to know it's the um multi sounds because we can do a lot for multi things so like we have the keyboard settings controls and keys here and you can like if you want you don't have to um if you want if you don't want to see the keys you can just take this out press the button and then keys goes out or if you want to press control so it can controls can get out yeah so here's the most important part is the keyboard setting so if you use like a multi preset or if you plan on combining two sounds at once uh you're gonna get this and then with the new update it looks like that now and looks very like phenomenal you know so yeah so for this you can edit which part of the piano you want there's certain you want the sounds or both the sounds to be if you want it to be like split like this how it is right now you can or if you want one of these sounds to take over most of the piano yeah or if you want one of these sounds to take part of it or um if you want both sounds to take over the whole top piano then yeah and then as you can see now here then at the new update you can see octaves here so like say if um a piano is it a regular octave and then say if a strings is like it's usually like a like in a higher octave, 
even if you didn't turn the uh, uh, octave high or low for the strings, you could come here and edit it, and then you can use semitones for it. Yeah, yeah. And then we have the pitch, the mod wheel, the aftertouch, the sustain, and the expression pedals. The expression pedal will be mainly for the um Mark II, I believe. So yeah. So once you click one of these, it gives you an option to give it the destination to if you if you don't want to say if you don't want to pitch bend for your multi preset just press none or if you only want part one yeah or if you only want part two so yeah it works with all of these and another cool feature with this is that you can replace any sound with one of these sounds you want or you can just um remove one of them so you'll be, you'll be good and good to go and of course um once you only have one the other um will just stay like playing and stuff like that and of course y'all saw me use the ABM piano pad and i do recommend y'all to use it too so yeah yeah but it's like it's really cool to have like stuff like this you know and it's really fun so yeah yeah so now we got our new instruments which is the acid i believe this one too i was really paying attention and then we got the mini freak and stuff like that so yeah like so so from like what i can see it it's so far it's like all good and stuff. There's some good sounds coming from it and stuff like that. So yeah. And of course we have stuff from like B three, DX seven, the Mellotron, the Matrix, the Korg, the June six, the Jupe eight, and the MIDI, the multi, piano. Everything is categorized in sections. So you'll be good after that. So yeah. So now to the left side of things. So now since after the update, the pro is up here now. The, the analog guy thing is looking more better here with the blue and stuff like that. So yeah, we have the light part here. You're going to be able to see all your light sounds and stuff like that. As you all can see, I have like some sounds battery of life and then my, on my other laptop i do have some other sounds so yeah so here's some sounds that i really like on here and if y'all want me to play this like in a video where i'm not going to talk i'm only going to play um i would do that just comment down below to let me know so yeah and this is a lead that i really like too And then here's this one sound that I've been wanting to tell you all about. And it's the um cinema layer. This sound is a beauty. And I really like it.
Yeah, it turns good. Oh, damn. Yeah, and like, bro, like, bro, I ain't going live, bro. Um, like, all these sounds are like really good and phenomenal. I really like it. Especially this pad, like the first pad I showed you, I'm gonna play it again. It's like really phenomenal. Here's a string I recommend y'all using too. Yeah, and as I already can see, like, you have like different types of wallpapers if you're paying attention to the right side too. So yeah, for me, I recommend y'all to get the brand new Mark III because it's like a whole new thing too. Like it's like it's like big, and then like too like now of course like the mod wheel is like more smoother and stuff like that now. The things are like um the pads are like more thinner. The um faders and knobs are a little different. Um, yeah, and stuff like that, so yeah. And then there's some stuff like back here is like changed up too. So yeah. So I'll put the links to the um Mark Three down in the description description box below from Amazon, Sweetwater and the Ontario website. So yeah. And I recommend y'all to visit the V Collection X two. Um it's like like the V Collection X, it's a lot. You can get you get a lot of instruments. You get you get a lot of things, like a lot of cool sounds, you know. Yeah, so yeah. Not gonna lie too. We can also use sounds for like church or like any type of gig, you know, if you're going somewhere. Or you can use it for like producing music, use it for beats. And um if you want me to make a beat out of a couple of these sounds, let me know in the comments too. It's, and it's really fun too, and make sure y'all get the um the MIDI control center. It's the MIDI control center is very important because there's some days where your keyboard can get an update, and you do not want to miss that. And not only that too, for your um MIDI control center, you can also change these user stuff here. For say like this certain type of plugin or a like a doll or something like that, you know, if you want your own preset or if like um couple people share the same piano, right? Someone can use like user one, another person can use user two, another user three, and stuff like that. So yeah, um, and other things you can do with the mini control center too. So yeah. You can use it for any other on uh, key lab or terrier stuff, like any other or terrier gear, you can use it for anything. So yeah. And y'all um please check out Arteria products for anything that's strong one, including the V Collection X. Cause there's some things you can need or want and it's like there on the website or the um Arteria Software Center and I'll put it down in the link below. So please check it out and it's fun and stuff like that. So yeah. And that's about it, man. And glad I got to cover a lot of things for y'all. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. And um if y'all want me to make more artillery like more stuff, like making them be out of some of these sounds or 
make this like a video with all these sounds but without me talking or anything or um anything else man let me know and um yeah and it was really fun doing this video and just let y'all know and please listen up this video is not a sponsored video um didn't like a tier never asked me to do this video um they um never gave me money or anything like that to make this video i just want to make this video for fun let y'all know what be going on with Altaria and stuff like that and with other things like that so yeah it's not like a collaboration or anything like that so yeah um yeah plus like stay tuned for more stuff in the future because um I can give y'all any type of updates or anything, and yeah, that's about all, man, and I hope that you really liked it, and y'all enjoyed, please like, share, subscribe, and then please um follow me at Instagram, ShinerKeys underscore official, so y'all can get more things, and I'll put everything down in the description box below, the Ontario website, Media Control Center. Uh, arterial software center and all of that so yeah so um i'll catch y'all later and have a nice one thank you